Hi, I'm Tim Marvin, the CEO of ProxyScape. Welcome to a short tutorial on how to use our brand new proxy checker. Let's jump into it. So once you're on our website, you can head over to the preview section. Here, you can select proxy checker. Once you're on this page, you can select which version you want to download. Here, you can select either 64 bit or 32 bits. I will be downloading the 64 bit version. It may take a few minutes to download, depending on your internet speed. Take coffee in the meantime. Once the proxy checker is downloaded, you can open it. You might see a pop-up from Windows Defender. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with our software. This is because we do not own a software certificate yet. To get past this notification, simply click More Info and run anyway. Then the software will start installing. It may take a minute or two. Click Yes to accept the admin permissions. Install and wait for the download to complete. Once installed, click Finish, and the software will open. Welcome to our new proxy checker. We are currently on version 1.1. Here, you see the proxy checking page. You can configure your proxy checker here and start checking the proxies. But before we do that, let's first look through the other options we have. On the Judge page, you can configure the URLs our proxy checker will check the proxies against. Make sure to put the correct keyword in here. The keyword is required for our software to confirm that the connection was successful. The keyword can be anything that is displayed on a website, such as the title or content of the web page itself. By default, it will use our own judges. We do this because we have control over them and that way we are certain that they work. The blacklist. You can enable this option by clicking filtering. If this option is selected, our approach check will check all working proxies against these lists and display a warning if they are blacklisted or not. Let's head over back to the proxy checking page. Before we can start checking, we need proxies. For this demonstration, we are going to use our free proxies. Head over to proxy scrape again, go to freebies and select free proxy list. Here you can download free proxies. Please be aware that free proxies can be very unstable and go offline very quickly or maybe very slow. For this demonstration, that's no problem. Click download on one of the protocols and head back over to the proxy checker. Next, import a new proxy list. Select the protocol you want to check against. We download the SOX for proxies, so we are only going to select SOX. You can use a number of threads to make sure that your proxy checker goes faster or slower. Please be aware that your system needs enough resources to check the proxies with many threads. If your system does not have enough resources or your internet connection is too slow, the software will return false positives. You can also select the number of retries. For this demonstration, I'm going to set it to one. This means if the proxy is offline by the first try, the system will retry it again for one time. If it's offline then, again, it will mark it as offline. Otherwise, it will be marked as online. The timeout of the proxy is how long the proxy check can wait before a connection is marked as failed. We are going to set it to five seconds. And let's lower the threads a little to make sure we get consistent results. Once you have configured proxy checking, you can click check. At first, this will check the judges to ensure that the target websites are online. As you can see, they were online. Now it's checking the proxies. Let's wait for checking to complete and take a look at the results. Once the checking is complete, you will see this page. Here, all working proxies are displayed. If you previously decided to check multiple protocols and only want to see protocols of a certain one, you can still select the protocols here. You can also still select the timeout of the proxies you want to see. As you can see, it will say filtered 159, total 240. This means when you export the proxies, it will only export the proxies which you selected. Out of the 800 proxies we checked, currently 240 works. While we recheck our proxies on the free proxies often, free proxies are very unstable. If you want to use the proxies in another software after checking them, you can click export and click save as txt. You can use them in your scraping software or any other software that you might be using. I hope you learned something new in this video. Please know that we are always looking forward to your feedback. If you have any suggestions or feature requests for our proxy checker, please head over to roadmap.proxy.com and know that we are always available to help you with our 24 seven live stage support, which is available on every page on our website. See you soon. Thank you